all right in this video I'm going to show you some nut and bolts tips and tricks about running mutt as your email client okay so mutt is a text-based email client and without any doubt that your mail coming from a system or people who write text mostly text uh, and uh, lack including some HTML stuff I'm telling about this because it is is uh, forte to handle text related stuff better although you can use it as a normal every other email client with little bit of effort and little bit of tweak and configuration which I will show you so I'm going to take a pick uh, how I configured it because I think people might get interested to use because this is extremely fast lightweight very powerful okay so <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry in one way it's it's very much uh, enticing to the gigs and it certainly captured my my geeky stuff uh, one and a half i mean almost 15 years back and i started to use it as my main email client that is the only email client i have so and uh, before moving on if you if you if you see a hissing sound going on in the background that's because my old laptop fan is getting uh, spinning like maniac and I couldn't stop it mm. so so that if you see if you listen the hissing sound in the background that's because of the fan got wild okay so all this stuff goes out of the way let me spawn up a terminal uh, so before doing that mm, I'm sitting on I i3 manager IT window manager and I have a key bind to spawn up my mail client like everyone else in the world I do uh, mod shift and M to bring up my mail client like this mod shift and M see and it prompts me to unlock my mail account because I have encrypted with GPG key so I have unlocked it zoomed in and move it to a different workspace so I can go there and uh, so uh, I'm exposing my inbox to you because I don't care because I don't have anything important there so to delete uh, stuff I just press D okay and it will mark it uh, with, uh, with a particular color which I have already defined okay so you can see I'm, I'm just pressing D on a specific uh, I could have done by searching and all this stuff so and if I if I sync it with shift and dollar key so it gets synced okay now now you can see on the left hand side um, if I want to refresh the inbox I just press Control O and you can see on the bottom it is refreshing fetching the headers of my mails okay so um, shift asterisk go down bottom to the mail that means the latest one and equals put me to the first one on the oldest one okay so um, as I said the, the asterisks bring you to the newest mail okay and equal put you to the oldest mail on the inbox okay and say for instance if you are having a real short uh, screen like me 
to save some sand you can you can toggle the left hand side panel or the inbox by just pressing shift b see it's a toggling v where it it took away the side panel if you if you don't want to use it okay if we do shift p again it bring back the stuff okay so i have some shortcut key go to the go to the other other mail directory or inboxes which i'll demonstrate you but in in general sense you can you can move between the mail dir or like um, control n see the underlying it is moving to a different mail dir control n and control p will go up and down in that in that side panel to choose once you be there and you can you can press control o to expand that inbox or inflate or show the inbox okay say for instance i want to do, go to the uh, linux kernel mail dir right i can use control p to put it there and sorry put it there and press control o to open instead i have a keybind shortcut say probably i'm on uh, i'm sitting on my inbox and i want to go to the linux kernel folder just press control k look at the bottom of the screen it is changing to that particular directory okay now you can see if you read stuff because i have a rule inside my dot uh, mart rc which is suggesting that anything old beyond a week should get marked as old so either i explicitly sync it to delete all those red color messages which are which because those messages are one week old that's how the rule I set inside MartRC. Or once I leave this particular in mail directory and go to other, it will automatically uh, delete all this. Let me do it for you manually. So I have to shift and four or dollar. Look at the bottom of the screen. It is expanding the message in red color, which has been marked as delete okay so if i press asterisk i'll go to the bottom of the bottom of the mail which is the latest one okay so likewise at any moment of time if you are looking for a help in in mart so just press question mark it will put you to a, a help page okay I think the side panel getting distracted so i'm toggled it off okay so this is the any time anywhere in mart if you press question mark this help page will come and it will tell you what are the keys and what are the purpose of those keys okay and what it is supposed to do in the middle column Okay, to move along, move down and up, you use uh, space to go down to this particular. Okay, so you can see what are the key bounded with that. I have a few macros defined of defined by myself to for the convenient part. So, but you can find the help by pressing question mark okay and it will put you to this particular help page in the mart inside mart itself okay so there are a few uh, unbounded uh, page up to go up in this particular page okay so if you press Q uh, you will get back to the back to where you are okay now uh, i'm using a solarized dark theme and i have i have my own uh, my if i try to compose a mail uh, i have an integration with vim 
although you could easily integrate with the max if you use the max everywhere else okay so it's not a big deal just one line and pretty ordinary stuff i have integrated with vim so uh, if i compose a mail i'll i will get a, get get a window where i can use all the vim related stuff while composing okay so to compose a mail uh, just write just press m and if i press tab here look at the bottom of the screen uh, it it is two okay it is prompting where to if i write down the mail by hand which will be cumbersome if i writing a fresh email to somebody or i have a alias file attached to it if i press tab it will put me here so i have few in my alias file if i if i write down the uh, uh, shorthand notion it will expand to it okay so you can see the arrow is uh, hovering so if i press enter any of them it will get selected okay so it will get selected and expand the mail address if i write it to myself just look at the bottom of the screen i press enter likewise um if you if, you, if now if you move your if i press and, and if you move your and if you press enter look at the bottom of the, it is asking for the subject to be written uh, if i write test and see i'm inside a composing buffer which is basically nothing but a vim as i mentioned this this buffer could be a emacs buffer if you are running emacs as a daemon you could bind something specific in your mod rc so it can call up emacs client to present you this kind of buffer for composing email okay i have bounded with vim so it is presenting me a buffer to where i can write the stuff okay so for the sake of demonstration if i write this is a brief demo of uh, mat Gix might like it okay so once i done uh, i'll do this almost i do the same thing because it's a vim buffer right i write and quit and it put me here see this is the this is the main stuff where i i i can now uh, I I always attach my there is a several way to attach the public GPG key so people can get it okay if you encrypt your mail if they have got their public your public key they will in, decrypt it and see it okay so to do to in, to add the uh, you can see on the top security is non written right if I press P and then press S see my public key get attached to this mail sign as you can see okay so sign i'm signing my email with my gpg key okay so what i did i press p and then press s to select the key which will which will sign my mail right now at this moment if i send if i press y so which i'll do if I, now it is asking me for to sign it because it is it is pass face pro protected gpg key right if i write again look at the bottom it is sending the mail okay with the mail sent done okay so this is how uh, because I'm not um, if I now I'm in a in a in a in a in a folder Linux kernel you can see where few of the 
stuff coming so if i go back to my inbox which i have a shortcut control i if i do that it takes some time because i have a big fatty one i press control i oh dear see look at the bottom it is it is getting back see the mail i just sent to me it is there you can see right on the screen so and if i press enter on it see this is the mail i just sent to me okay pretty darn simple and uh, this is how you send mail uh, marked okay so now uh, if I okay so if I delete it so if I just press D it will change the color and if I do uh, shift and four that means dollar it will sync up with the mailbox so it tilts the file now mm, you could attach a mail thread uh, to 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 a specific mail if you are probably writing something to somebody else and you want the conversation to be passed to a people who probably not included included in that conversation thread okay so how could you do that so if you are writing somebody who are not part of that particular thread for instance i if i wanted to uh, send uh, now all i do let let me give you a demonstration how could uh, forward a particular thread to a person who is not involved of that conversation thread okay so i'm hope you are understanding right i'm trying to pass to a person writing a mail to a person who is not part of the conversation but you want to make the person aware of the conversation okay so all i do and if i write a mail say again to me so if i write okay and forwarding can be done in different way i'll show you i'm writing this mail subject just for your sake so you can understand what i'm trying to accomplish forwarding mail thread to a person who is not in the conversation okay if i press so again i'm in a vim buffer to write i am trying to include a uh, include uh, what is going on include a thread with this mail okay so once i'm done composing now i have i need to attach those conversation right so all i do i go to the normal mode and press capital a oh sorry so once i done i just uh, quit and press look at the bottom of the screen i press shift a that means capital a it is prompting me for the inbox where i can select the thread i want to attach those thread with this particular mail what i have composed right i'm sending it to somebody who is not part of the thread to make the person aware of the conversation we are having somewhere else okay so it is in box it could be anything okay so i'm um, if i press enter here and i'm in that particular i'm in my inbox to select all i have to do say particular this thread i want to the initial rk 3588 dd so right 
okay so if I if I select this all I have to do I have to make it tag to attached with it okay so if I do see the asterisk coming just beside it let me do it so I'm, I'm just pressing T to get it tagged okay now I have tagged all although you can tag in different well I'll show you in a moment that how you could tag with the specific word okay now if if I I have done tagging to a specific thread which I'm going to uh, now if I press Q see here I am in my composing mail new mail I have composed look look at this all the mail thread I have tagged now as an attachment with the mail I'm trying to compose okay now if I send this mail likewise I need to I need to select you probably think you could attach your public key in a different way it is possible but I'm doing it for the demonstration purpose to attach your public key in mark press P then press look at the bottom of the screen it says encrypt sign okay uh, both whatever you like so I've just signed mine just press S it will attach um, the key what I have signed by mail okay if I press Y it is again asking me for my pass space of GPG which I can type now this mail is sending to me with all the threads I have tagged as an attachment okay the mail has been sent now If I sync it, now if I if I sync it now you can you can see I have received the mail and as you can see on the subject line I have clearly written forwarding mail thread to a person who is not in the conversation right if I press enter see this is the mail I send with with thread attached okay so you can see if I press space and you can see the entire mail thread whatever I have selected comes along with this mail so I the person who is getting this mail will be aware of the thread of conversation happening somewhere else where he or she is not part of it super handy way and very easy way to send a mail thread to somebody else okay so it's very easy very convenient and super useful okay okay so if I press Q I go back now how do I forward it pretty darn simple if I press F look at the port again if I'm sending it to myself so if I type out my mail address again it put me in a in a in a, in a Vim buffer where because you can see from the very first line you can see from the very forwarded message from me okay so if I if I if I start writing something on top of it so the entire message will get forwarded to them okay so I'm not going to do that but to forward a message in Mart, you just have to press F and it will put you in a buffer to write something okay so now if I press Q it'll quit simply and if I so I'm come back to my uh, inbox okay so 
now so there are probably ways when when a lot of people involve in in a mail coming from the uh, from the mailing list for some of the say for instance this one mail from Andrew it might have um, include a mailing list stuff right so and how to reply to all of them instead of a, if I press R it will only reply to Andrew because the mail come from Andrew okay so if I press R it will reply to Andrew only to and a lot of other people are included in the mail chain and it is sent to the mailing list okay so how do I reply back to the all of them at once for that I need to press G it again put me in a buffer okay if I write something and then I save it see look at the CC list I press G to reply to everyone. Look at the CC list. It included different other mailing list where this mail should go. Plus, it will primarily go to Andrew because the mail initially came from Andrew. Okay. So to send a mail to a mailing list to everyone, you need to press G. So it is it is going to show you who are the once you finish writing or composing stuff once you save it and come back to this screen you can see who are the person in cc although you can discover it in a, some other way okay and you can now you can send it which i'm not going to do okay so to to see now uh, again I'm opening the message if you want to see uh, the header of it okay the every mail comes with a header the path and all this stuff so all you have to do press H see this is the header and you can see where it is coming from okay and how it is included and all this stuff this is the header of it header of this particular mail okay so you can easily see the header where the mails routing from coming from and all this stuff demark and all this stuff right pretty uh, neat information if you are inclined to have it okay pressing h pressing h will expand the header pressing h will collapse it it's a toggling tree to see the header okay now for instance if you want to edit the message just press e i press e now i'm in a insert mode in a in a buffer i mean in a in a in a in a buffer where which is a vim buffer because i have integrated with vim now i can easily get into if i press escape uh, see look at the bottom of the screen i am in insert mode so i can edit the message okay so uh you can you can coming to come to edit a message just press e okay if i do q sorry so i'm i'm back on my inbox okay so to edit a message you need to press e to forward a message you need to press f to reply to a group of people you need to press G okay to reply to an individual you need to press R okay and all this action put you to a editor you are integrated with your with Mart. I have I'm saying again I've integrated Mart with Vim it could be easily easily done to be a Emacs as your composing editor okay I'll give you all I'll show you how the syntax will be to get attached Emacs as a, as your composing buffer okay 
so so this is this is how you could operate on a this is a, now this is the interface you could do zillions or other thing which i'm not going to show you just to clobber your head but whatever i have demonstrated you till now it should be good enough to up and running because if, if you haven't done any kind of stuff before with it okay so i'm wildly assuming you can say smart to to open it up for you if I'm assuming wrong, if it, it will be my fault because I started with the notion that whoever is seeing at least know that how to configure. Now you have a question. So they come, they might come, I'm, they might come, they might be knowing all this stuff what I have shown. Not true. They might have configured it. They might get into it, but because if they are not using it frequently, they might not know how to exactly do the stuff. That's why I'm doing this video. Okay. So that to my defense, whether you take it or not is absolutely up to you. Now, so let me go out of this interface. Okay. So you can see a heading on top, right? Quit to tell and Dell to tag a specific kind of message if I press capital T look at the bottom of the screen it says tag message uh, messages matching if I write Dan okay or uh, whatever you want to tag just press enter see two asterisks you can see on the screen it was not there just beside Dan capital mail okay let me show you see the arrow is pointing there you can see on the left hand side these two asterisks comes because i press ctrl t which prompt me for tagging and i wrote the word dan so it probably tagged in other in other mail too but on the screen you can see two asterisks comes beside the mail which contain the subject the the author whose name is dan okay so this is how you can tag it and if i i wrote dan so it includes daniel too okay that can be filtered out okay so to untag it you just have to press capital u i just press shift u okay now if i write dan again Or my if I now if I press you okay so these are going to be untagged if I press normal T so it's get untagged okay so capital T will prompt you to tag a specific message whatever you have written as per the criteria as per the regexes you can use small t or normal t will untag the message okay so it's simple now um, if I If I come here and if I press Z, so it will tell me the thread where I am in. I press Shift Z, which will tell me the thread I am in. Okay. If I do again, I come back to a normal normal place. Okay, so Z will expand the thread. Okay, Shift Z. So 
and uh, again you can look at the key map attached with the mart ui anytime inside mart just pressing question mark and you can see what what are the key binds attached to which function okay so this is very helpful and uh, there are several things which probably i'm not going to cover all this if i started to cover all this time it could have take a long long time but i i'm covering all the basic detail so it, it you could get comfortable with it if you decided to give it a shot which i'm expecting that's why i'm making this video if i press q i'm going back to the box okay now the few thing you can you can you can easily go see up because i have integrate this is a i just press colon i'm in a uh, i'm i'm in a ex prompt i can i can query different variable from here or i can set different stuff from this ex prompt like we usually do in vim right so a uh, few of the thing i need to i'm going out of this mail ui interface okay so and let me open i believe i'm zoomed enough okay so there is a folder called mat okay so i'm inside it and you can see there are different file because i misspelled aliases two times that's why two files are, one of them is valid one of these just mocking around there are different one archive folder is there one cache folder is there one color for the color folder is where you mention the color scheme it's one of the color scheme i have pulled in in my matrc file from here the location is dot mat colors where you specify your color scheme okay now gpg rc is contain your gpg keys and all this stuff macros uh, if you write macros uh, this the file should be look like this where all your macros will be defined and if you include this macros file inside your dot mat rc this key combination is going to be work for you so you can specify your own key code as i shown to you i have some of my these key cords are built for me your key cord could be different okay so you can use this kind of key cord to get the get get a, uh, convenient to mat to do stuff for you we do a lot of stuff we and we want to do a shortcut of it okay so this is how you can write a macro which will do the stuff for you in my act. You should place your all this key cord inside a macros file. Okay. All right. So the next is that mail cap, which is an interesting file because it shows you the mail comes with an attachment. To see an attachment in Mart, once you are inside the open the mail, all you have to do you have to press v to see the attachment okay so so here i'm 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 using a file called less open which is a popular shell script but here in this file this mail cap file uh, there's a conversion if i wanted to see something on html i use uh, linux lynx it's a it's a textual browser which will dump all the HTML stuff on the terminal so I can have a look at it. Okay. Now, I, as I said, I use a popular conversion shell script called lesspipe.sh. I have covered it before in one of my backlog videos, which one I can't remember, but I remember I did it. If you, if you, if you want to Google it, you can find it's a very popular shell script which will convert stuff for you so i have included that 
So if I want to send a uh, image, how it should open? If someone send me an image with a mail, how do I see those image with XXIV as the image viewer? Likewise, if I someone sell me an audio file, MPV will be used in my system to listen to that audio file. Likewise, if somebody send me a video attached with the mail, I can see the video by using MPV as the video player in my system. Likewise, I can see the PDF using Zathura. Okay, as you can see, I have configured it like that. So if I get a PDF attachment in my mail, I can see it by Zathura in my system. The mail cap file is basically is is a configuration file which tell Mart what need to do when you receive a particular stuff in your mail. If you receive a HTML mail in your Mart, how do you want to see those HTML files, HTML mails? How do you see the audio file people send to you? How do you watch the video file people send to you by mail? or images so mail cap is the file where where you can you you configure which way you want to see the stuff from your mail okay so the next is um, as you can see sig my sig it's a signature file so my signature is pretty simple I quoted a fa famous quote from a very renowned movie, one of my favorite movie. So, and I put my URL where you can find everything about me. Okay, this is a darn simple stuff. And uh, I can use not much inside Vim. The, the macros are there. Let me show you mail. Um, so you can see, I I can search using not much um, or M and MU inside Mart. Okay. So so there is a there is a there is a macro combination. If I press the uh, specified key, I I I can invoke not much inside Vim inside Mart. I can. I can invoke MU inside MUT if I press specific key as you can see. Uh, I have used escape MU to run MU, escape MR to show me the report of the of the MU indexing. Likewise, I can run uh, escape NS as not much, prompting for whatever I want to, to search. Okay, so this uh, this way i can integrate or combine other tool with my mail client which is mart okay so i have club clubbed not much an mu to work in tandem with mart like this way by by assigning or creating a configuration so i can easily access to those tool is without going out of it okay so the pre these are the pretty darn simple stuff and um, what else i need to show you can create an alias by just uh, let me show you again i'm getting inside my email client mat i have a key bind but i do it explicitly from the terminal for your sake just to see okay so if i wanted to uh, create an alias say i choose uh, my my cursor you can see the little cursor uh, you can see on the left hand side uh, screen the cursor is moving if i put any uh, cursor on a specific mail and if i press uh, act you can see who sent me the mail i can see their email address just by pressing at okay now 
if I move to other and if I press act shift 2 I can see the mail address where the mail coming from okay so pretty down simple and very useful okay so now if I wanted to create a alias out of this I just press a look at the bottom of it it says alias as AKPM because I have already done it Andrew Morton is um, is AKPM as alias okay like in many other places so I try to keep the alias as common as possible if I write AKPM on two field while composing it will expand to Andrew okay simple the point is here that uh, if I wanted to make an alias of a particular main, so I just have to press, say if I go somewhere else, and if I press A, look at the bottom of the, it is it's, it is telling me, uh, my, my pointer is to a specific mail, and I press A, and on the bottom of the scene, it says alias as, then the name of the person or some abbreviation of the person where the mail come from down simple and very useful so you don't have to do anything so once you select it it will going to give an entry do an entry to the alias file what you saw few minutes back when I am in a dot mat folder okay there there was a file called aliases if I press enter right now it will going to take that address and put it in my alias file along with the mail address of this of this person pretty simple okay I'm just trying to press uh, control C and just prompting me I say no so this is how you basically operate on mat there are plethora of way there are so many way you can customize it infinitely I haven't put enough effort although I've been using it for many 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 years now and I only configured and tailored it for my convenience I don't want to do it overdo it I only focus on the thing what I actually require for my day-to-day -day operation and which is not too much but your case probably quite different you probably need lots of bills and Wilson and a lot of stuff so you can configure as per your as per your understanding or requirement my requirement is very confined so I configured it as per my requirement okay so if you haven't already looked into it you might take a look at my dot mat RC file which is which is there in github under my name you you should find under dot file repo okay and I have written a blog about it you you could check out those in my blog site if you are inclined to get hold of my configuring stuff and all this stuff thing right so you can also before let you go the last thing you can you can have a different uh, uh, coloring to this a specific name I have a different color for different people see uh, Thomas if I get a mail from Thomas I get a different color if I get a mail from Linus I get a different color if I get a mail from Andrew I get a different color so it helps me to distinguish where where the mails coming visually by putting a specific color which is absolutely darn simple to do that look into the look into the mart RC file of mine or anybody else it's absolutely simple to do that to get that kind of coloring stuff which will help you to visually distinguish where the mail come from whom the mail come from okay so this is a brief premiere about mat how how you could operate on uh, operate on it okay so uh, you can see right hand side corner uh, I have um, I have uh, postponed the message because I compose it and I haven't sent it so it will mark keep track as a postpone if I want to recall and just um, if I press M look at the bottom of the screen it says uh, recall postpone message if I say yes it will bring back the message in front if I say yes see this is the message 
I was I was postponing because I tried to compose and then didn't send so mark keep it as postponed stuff so if I and if I if I say no it will it will simply discard the message second time okay so this is how basically you operate day-to-day -day basis I operate because this is uh, this is the whole and sole email client I have and it's been for many 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 years now and I haven't looked into other stuff okay I thought it will be useful for some people thanks for watching